website is uh, hmm. uh, oh, there it is. BeerAmerica.tv. Oh, all right. Give okay. Shot. So yeah, um, do it good. Go ahead. Welcome to BeerAmerica.tv. I'm John Pinkerton. And I'm here with Paul Leon. BeerAmerica.tv. There, there, there we go. And uh, you have brought another beer. Uh, our very first episode, Brewery Oma Gang. We did. Really? Well, that was the first one? The very first one. We did Hennepin from Brewery Oma Gang. And having lived in Cooperstown for six years, uh, and, and, and when it first got started there, I'm very familiar with Brewery Oma Gang. It's beautiful up there. There's actually a video on the website uh, when I was up there videotaping. And uh, they uh, they do a lot of great beers. They I do. I mean, they do a lot of great beers. They've nailed the Belgian style solid in America. Would Indeed. you say? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they they've nailed it. And you uh, you went to the store and you picked out. Well, this is a special um, variety that's coming out from them called Omageddon. Omageddon. It's Omageddon. Which uh, is a uh, you know pretty uh, inauspicious. Um, as you can see, but I think we uh, we'll have to let the beer speak for itself. Yes, it's it, it says right on the front, Funk House Ale with Britannomyces. Yeah, the the the, the colloquial term that we've kind of started wanna... using in the craft beer industry is uh, the funk. When we start talking about some of these other organisms besides Saccharomyces, besides that standard. I don't want to say standard Saccharomyces. All right, we've, we've been through this before. <laughs> uh, uh, see, I held on to it this time. And, uh, yeah, so the slow motion cam probably won't come out this time. Yeah, there we go. Nice catch. Uh, corked bottle, beautiful presentation. This oh, is yeah. pretty typical for, uh, for Omegang. Um, yeah, is it Omegang or Omegong? I always feel like uh, uh, Brewery Omegang. Okay. Uh, that's what we say, anyway, at least in New York. We say. Well, a New Yorker, because I'm a New Yorker. Sorry. <laughs> I always tease my I wife. I probably didn't pour that one. Did you tease your wife? About being a Yankee. About a Yankee, yeah. Being a Yankee. Well, it's good to be a Yankee. Not so much in Savannah, but in most other places. Right. Yeah, here in the deep south. So I'm, like, I'm going out on a limb here. There's oh. Britannomyces in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always That's... like, every once in a while I go, do I taste the Britannomyces? No, no, you don't taste that at all. You taste that. Uh, wow. Know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, now I do. I'm starting to get more familiar with it. Wow, yeah, that's I can a, smell it. Yeah, it's it's huge and it's beautiful. It really yeah. is uh, pretty exceptional. Well, it's eight uh, percent. They started brewing this in two thousand and seven. Uh, did I pour that totally bad? It was like well, half it's of a it's head very it effervescent. It's I, it, I think it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. These are bottle conditioned beers, I, I believe, and uh, you know it's meant to it's meant to be a highly carbonated mm -hmm. beverage. Um, I, I mostly just poured more in my glass because I wanted more. Mm -hmm. But that, oh, I, yeah. you know, I mean, we always talk about the witch hazel wow. juicy fruit. This actually goes even beyond that, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is definitely approaching, you know, when they talk about funk house, I mean, mm -hmm. we were talking about. Well, they say it right on the website. They say the dryness and uh, the funkiness inspired the name Omegeddon, because this one's really out there. This one's really out there. Well, we'll say, um, you know, kind of the, uh, oh, man, I got a little. It's a strong blonde ale, glass. by the way. They describe it as a strong blonde ale. Indeed. Uh, it, it is definitely strong. I mean, I haven't even gotten to my lips yet, and I'm telling you, it's a strong. I mean, strong mm -hmm. in character. But we we talk about that juicy fruit thing. This definitely goes beyond that. The kind of the the, the pinnacle of the funky Brett character is the barnyard character. Mm -hmm. um, some people just like, you know, throw it right out there and say cow shit. Yeah. Um, this is not to the uh, manure kind of. That, that sort of that barnyard like aroma, yeah. but another uh, uh, word that's thrown out, especially in the wine uh, sort of vernacular, you mm -hmm. talk about a horse blanket. Mm -hmm. That sort of that that that, that horsey smell. Yeah, um, and it's I'm a, getting. It's a great way to describe it. Definitely getting that. I'm not sure yeah. I'd throw it in the barnyard category, but it is. It is. You know, we're using these terms that kind of. Make you think like, ooh, that. Yeah, I know. They're not that. endearing terms, but it's a great way to describe it when you smell it. And you, but but it doesn't taste. I mean, it tastes. But it's just one note, you know, because yeah, one note. what's behind there is all this yeah. fruit character. Uh -huh. And I think what's important to kind of recognize is that every, even the most beautiful aroma has some sort of root. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you have to have this dynamic. And I, I think I've talked about the whole Thai food characteristic. You have right. that, you have that fish sauce note that. Funky, like what is this? What is that smell? Mm -hmm. uh, in and of itself, it smells terrible. 
combined with you know uh, lime and coconut and all these wonderful aromas, uh, it's just it's magic. Yeah, you know, and that's a great way. That's a great analogy, right? You know, it's combined with other things, it's perfect. It's a perfect blend. I think uh, who was it that was it, did Garrett talk about that in that video that we had? I think he little, did. Yeah. There's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a music um, uh, analogy. I, I can't remember. Well, Pajoli, you gotta try this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hate it. So uh, <laughs> it's John Pajoli behind the camera. That's uh, you're, go ahead and hold the glass up. Right in front of you, clean glass. There you go. And boy, all right. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He's a wine guy. I think uh, he's he not might? a bitter beer. I, I think, don't know uh, if you like this or not. He might. I don't know. Well, you can't see him really, but we'll we'll do the play by play. I actually um, years ago um, at a brewing conference. Not. <laughs> oh, he didn't like it. It wasn't oh. positive. Wow. <laughs> Dude, as a wine guy, I mean, come on. <laughs> that was a good reaction. Sorry, yeah. I missed it. Yeah. So we got to know from him, but that's okay because if you really like beer and you like Belgian styles, this one's stepping out a little bit. Yeah, this is this is stepping out a little bit, but I mean, uh, if you're really into, if you're a foodie, if you really like interesting characters, I mean, this is a this is a pretty amazing beer, and I'm not just uh, you know smooching up to the guys at Omega. Mm. This is I I want to brew some beers like this. Really? Yeah, uh, I really do. Is I mean, it hard? Is it hard? Well, I, you know, I think for a lot of us, uh, you start experimenting with things, and mm -hmm. to some extent, you just kind of let, you know, nature do its thing. Right. I mean, we, you, when you when you brew with Britannomyces, you can actually inoculate uh, with Britannomyces. You can grow it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely uh, one of those exercises in timing. It takes mm -hmm. a little bit longer, a lot longer, to to develop some of those characters than standard Saccharomyces fermentations. Um, but well worth it. And in, yeah. in the end, I mean, we have we have some barrel aged stuff downstairs that actually has uh, some Brett in it, uh, some wine barrels that we got that we didn't inoculate mm -hmm. that were probably Brett positive to begin with. Yeah. That are starting to develop some of that character. So some of the, you know some of this stuff is just you know you just kind of let things happen. Uh, you never know, especially when you start putting stuff in barrels. I don't know if this spent time in a barrel, but. Um, well, I'll have to find that out. Indeed. Yeah. And uh, but so it's Brewery Oma Gang in Cooperstown, New York. Uh, Omageddon, and it, it's, uh, it, it's certainly, if you, if you see it on your store shelf, and, I, and I've been seeing it a lot, like everywhere, whenever I'm, I mean, you, so you should be able to get this uh, pretty I, much I don't get it out much, but uh, you know, that one caught my eye, that's definitely yeah. uh, Well, with the whole nuclear bomb yeah. thing <laughs> on the front there, you kind of wonder. Uh, i tell you what, though, I'm not being be, shy about it. I'm going to be stingy with this bottle, we're going to be sipping on this for a little bit. That a boy, all right. Well, hey, it's Paul at BeerAmerica.tv, questions or comments? Uh, pink of beer there you go. TV. There you go. Uh, sorry. Sorry, uh, sorry. Facebook, Twitter. Oh, and uh, what's going on in Savannah? Uh, one other thing we've mentioned. Uh, in ah, yes. Yeah, so we need to mention the Savannah Craft Beer Festival. Right. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood, so to speak. Big uh, deal for Savannah, by the way. Who's this? Is, uh, doesn't do this too often. As a matter of fact, it this is. This is our second annual. Right, there we go. Um, last year was a big success. We expect a much bigger crowd this year. Uh, so definitely plan accordingly. Um, when is it? Fantastic. Uh, Labor Day weekend. Thank you. Thank John's you. Beating us. A little coaching from the Labor Day weekend. <laughs> with the camera guy. Right at the convention center across from the river. Uh, beautiful background. Indeed. We got an event Friday night and Saturday night. The main event is Saturday uh, during the day, but we have a food and beer pairing event uh, the night before with a low country boil, as nice. we do it here in Savannah, Georgia. Which is awesome. Good stuff. Way. Yeah. Here, uh, Indeed. So uh, please join us, if you will. Mm hmm. Uh, good stuff, and we'll and come to the Moon River Brewing Company where we are right now. Yeah, there'll probably be a few people here that night. Probably, yeah. So, cheers, 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 mm. Armageddon. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Congratulations. Oh, I cannot. I just can't get enough of that. Really? Oh. <laughs>